Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing good. Today in this video, we will explore what is backout option in update set. First, let me show you the definition of backout. So this is the definition and few points about backout option in update set. You can go through this whenever you have some time. So first, let me show you with one example why we use this backout option in update set. So we will be discussing all these things in this video. So first, let me open one update set click on local update set so you will understand easily when i show you an example for backout option so let's open this demo update set 3 let me open incident table as well so this is one of the update set which we have created and we have captured one update here the type is client script and the name of the client script is demo cs okay that means we have done some changes on one table that is incident table and we have captured the changes here in the demo update set 3 so let me show you that change as well so let's open any one of the record here see the record is loading and we have developed one on load client script functionality for this incident table so this is an alert message we have created through onload client script okay let's click on okay so this is the functionality right now which we have developed for this incident table and we have captured in this demo update set now this state of the update set is in progress okay now my work is done so i am changing the state to complete and let's click on save See here, whenever you change the state to complete, then only you can able to see the option backout here, okay. When the state is in in-progress, then you cannot be able to see this backout option in this update set, okay. Only you can see when the state is complete. Let me show you. See, now the state is in-progress. I have changed the state to in-progress. See, now the backout option is not available here. Okay, only when the state is completed, then only the backout option will be visible. So first to show you, I am going to select this option as ignore. Okay, and now let's save this. So now I have ignored this update set. We have one update here. Now let's go to the incident table and let's click on refresh. See, even though I selected the state as ignore, still we are getting the alert message here. That means the functionality is still there so ignore option is not working why because why i am showing you this ignore option is means see here i have developed an onload client script for this incident table right and unfortunately that story got cancelled so once the story got cancelled it is not a good practice to keep the things like that right so if the story is got cancelled i have to clean that alert messages everything from the table right so keeping like that things is not a good practice so i have to remove the alert message so I selected the state as ignore and I am assuming that the changes will be removed from that incident table. So now let's click on refresh. See still we can able to see that alert message that means the changes are still there. So that means that ignore option is not going to delete the changes that we made for that particular table right. So now let's click on complete and click on save. See, I have done some changes for this incident table and I have captured that in my update set. And unfortunately, my manager told me that story got cancelled. Okay. So that time we have to remove the changes. Whatever we made the changes for that table, we have to remove that, right? So that is a good practice. Keeping all the things like that, it is not a good practice. So I I so I changed the state of my update set to complete. And I can see an option here, backout option. So now let's click on backout option. So here backout when you click on this backout option the changes that you did will be reverted back to the previous changes okay or previous versions. So currently for this incident table we have captured the onload client script in this particular update set right and now we have to remove that changes. So I click on that backout option now it is asking us see the backout process can undo a large amount of work and cannot be undone. And also, let's remember the name of our update set here, demo update set 3. Now, I don't want that client script to be executed on that incident table. So, I am clicking on that. So, now let's click on proceed with backout. So, when you backout, the changes that you did will be reverted to the previous version. Okay, that means 
that means the client script the download client script functionality that will be removed from that table now let's close this now let's refresh your incident table see now the alert message we are not getting right now that means the functionality has been deleted so let me show you that client script as well the client script also will not be available see we don't have any client script as well here cs demo that is the name of our client script right i believe cs demo is our name of our client script right so that client script is not available here and the functionality also has been deleted so why because we have used the back out option see here we don't have that update set demo 3 update set here that has been completely removed from the system see we don't have that one so this is how we can use that back out option in uh, update set if we use ignore option then the changes will be like that there only so that is not a good practice to keep the changes like that when we click on back out then completely the changes has been erased from the table so whatever the points we discussed in this video all those points has been covered in this definition and i have also shown you differences between ignore and back out options so that's all for today's if you find this video helpful then please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe my channel thanks for watching bye